by Eric on the broad-based government that has killed the vigor of the demonstrations. I want to tell you that uh, in Parliament there was already a super majority that passed the finance bill. But that did not prevent the Gen Z's. It did not prevent Ruto from coming out and rejecting after pressure had been pressed on him by the people. The constitution is clear that power vests with the people. The sovereignty is with the people. The people are supreme. That supermajority in parliament is not a supermajority. It, it is an imaginary supermajority that is in, intended to achieve some selfish gains or ambitions. And therefore, one person with God is the majority. But now here we have a few people in parliament, members of parliament team ground, together with the Gen Z's, with the millennials, with other Kenyans. That is even more than a super majority. And that is what we need. We don't need any other super majority in parliament. And number two, our voices will always be aired in parliament, irrespective of our numbers. Why? Because sometimes it's not about winning the war, but it is about being at the battlefield, registering your presence in the battlefield. Our presence will always be registered, irrespective of our numbers. And that is the time that you will know that in case those numbers will not be favoring the interest of Kenyans in parliament, we will go back on the ground. Gen Z's can always come out together with millennials and still make it right. That supermajority, if you saw the way they were running under the tunnel, then you knew you would have known that there, is <laughs> there was no majority there. There was the minority. So uh, the next question is about uh, Jimmy Wanjigi. Of course, you talked.